What's up, everybody? I'm Brett Medlack here with Curtis Slimmy. This is Talking Telltale, episode 11. And once again, it's going to be a strange episode. We're going to do various topics, too. I think these are things Brett wanted to talk about. Yeah, these are just... And I'm here to make my comments being heard. Yeah, these are just random Telltale topics. So normally we go through an episode of a Telltale game and we talk about the major and minor decisions that you make throughout the game. But today we're just going to talk about Telltale games in general. Sound good? Yeah, it sounds good to me. I don't know what he's going to say, so we'll see. Alright, I have some topics, and one of them is adventure game versus interactive drama. So earlier, Isn't that what they are? You, they're a bit of both, but earlier Telltale games, like, even, let's just go with uh, post-Walking Dead. So the Walking Dead Season 1, it had a lot more of you walk around, you solve puzzles, you investigate things, like, and then he, like, says things in his mind. Had a lot more of that. Back to the Future had even more. Yeah, of if that. you if you go Puzzle. if you go back even further, all t- the old Telltale games are very adventure like. Yeah. Um, nowadays, <laughs> uh, it's way more just you're just choosing like choices, and it's, it's just an interactive drama basically. And they, there's very little puzzles or even walking around in general. So my question to you is: Do you prefer the walking around? And or, and do you want more of it, or would you prefer even less walking around in the current games now and just making choices? Oh, the, I like the second option. I when I play Telltale, I just do it to relax and enjoy the story. I don't want to walk around and do work when I play Telltale. Okay, I, okay. I like to just chill out and you know, like watch a watch a movie. Yeah. But, like, make my decisions and what happens in the movie. Yeah. So, I I didn't actually expect you to say that. I thought you would actually, in, like, walking around, talking to different people, investigating, like, objects, and, like, hearing the, like, Lee's head on the inside, basically. No, no, no. I I just, like... To yawn. The story. You know, I... I, When I play Telltale, man, I just sit back and relax. (laughs) Shut up. You already said that. (laughs) Um... (laughs) So, so, what are, so, so Batman, for a Batman game, it, I haven't played it yet, I'm not I'm just saying it doesn't have much, the reason I haven't played it yet is because I'm waiting, because we're going to do episodes about it right before, right after I play them, so, yeah, it'll be a lot easier, it's not um, that like I'm not a fan or something, yeah, we love Batman, so, um, I mean, tell, tell well, we love Batman too, so you would actually prefer no walking around or nothing, but, but do you think, looking back, that you would have loved The Walking Dead Season 1 as much if it, if it didn't have those moments no, where, like... those don't need to change at all. Just from the future on, don't let me... Don't have me do a bunch of work. <laughs> a bunch of work. It's not even that bad. <laughs> now, uh, Back to the Future is a lot more puzzly and walking around. Yeah. Each episode's like an open world. Yeah. I you don't know. know. See... Yeah. Play it. I'm going to. A part of me wants the walking around and stuff because it it's more of a game. No, I'm not playing Telltale to play a game. I know, but I, I actually like solving stuff. I like feeling smart because I'm not. And it would be weird. Well, I guess I already... Like, it would be, it'd be, it'd be weird if there was no walking around at all in a, in a Telltale episode. But you make decisions? Yeah. So That's okay. I'm wondering... It's easier. How, like, if if they have the balls to just do that for, like, a different series. Like, let's say Guardians of the Galaxy. There's no walking around or nothing. It's just a movie that you watch and you make decisions along the way. I would love that. I think, there should be more of that in the world. I think there should be a healthy balance of the both. I think, okay, so let's say Guardians does that. That's fine. Mm-hmm. And I, I kind of want The Walking Dead to be more... <laughs> Stop making that face. <laughs> you look like, uh, what's his face? Uh, can't remember. So, and then The Walking Dead could be more, like, adventure, where you're, like, walking around, like, talking to people, stuff like that. I want a healthy balance. I don't want one or the other, but you want more just the decision-making. Yeah, for the people that can't see me nodding. <laughs> Not nodding, yes. Yeah, he was nodding, yes. I forgot that this is an audio-based yeah. show. Um. If you didn't know that, and you listen on iTunes, uh, we are also on YouTube. If you want to see our, but ugly don't, I faces. think the audio is just better. 
Yeah, the audio or is just audio is better than it's like I think our faces were in it. Our faces. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like I feel like just the video ruins it because like I mean you see like how like, it's just pathetic we like, pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's just uh, I just like giving people options to okay, uh, yeah. if a lot of people like to watch. I think the audio is hilarious. Yeah, the, the audio can be a lot more funny. That's for sure. Yeah. Um. But anyway. So, that topic wasn't as long as I thought it was going to be. It's okay. <laughs> so let's just head on to the next one. I was playing Batman the other day, and there's a scene where this guy... Hey, this is a newer Telltale. New Telltale game. Yeah. The latest. Well, The Walking Dead's the latest. Very recent. Um, and this guy runs across the room, and it's just eyeballs and a mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds hilarious. It was hilarious. It's just, but it ruined it. It ruined like the like. I just, <laughs> it was like a serious scene where there's a bunch of like stuff going yeah. on, and I see a mouth and eyes, like as if it's jogging, <laughs> bouncing across the room like it's running. Oh man! How does that happen in 2017 <laughs> in a brand new game? Um, I just. So what are you trying to say? I really, I love Telltale games, and I don't even mind the way they look. I don't mind any of that, but I just want them to just be a normal game and just run properly. Like, so they have... They have so many projects going at once. Uh, no, not only like, that, they have so much money. They do now. And but how, they don't update their engine. Let's be honest, though, we don't really know how much money they have. Like, we assume <laughs> they have a lot of money. Yeah. But, uh, like, we're not, like, experts. We don't actually know how much money they have. I assume they have a lot of money. Yeah, they do get some impressive... Uh, sales? IP and sales. Um, like, Guardians of the Galaxy, Game of Thrones. The only thing they could get next is Star Wars. That's the only thing that could top everything. Like, they have every Spider-Man? major... Spider-Man? They... I love Spider-Man. They might make a Spider-Man game with Marvel. They're, they're doing Guardians, so... Um, they have Batman, Game of Thrones, The Walking Dead, Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, they have like every mo like the most popular IPs. You can take all these like amazing like IPs. Yeah, and you can experience them through a narrative, uh, uh, interactive story. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, it is. But why are you, are you like super tired? <laughs> 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 anyway, um. What was I talking about? How the engine... Oh, yeah, the engine. Um, Like, something's got to give. I, I was always expecting... Every time I go into a game, I, I always assume... So, this game's going to be working fine. Like, they're, they've learned by now. Like, this game's going to work just fine. And then there's, like, little, like, moments in the game where I'm like... I have a feeling <laughs> there's supposed to be music playing right now. Floating eyeballs is hilarious. It was floating eyeballs. I jogging. wish I could have saw that. I can show you a video on YouTube. Okay. Um... I might embed it in this video. <laughs> That'd be funny. This is so funny. Uh, anyway, I'm all, I always assume this is going to be the game that runs perfectly fine. But I'm just wondering, when is it actually going to be that time when it runs perfectly fine? So, so I'll, be, I'll be honest, The Walking Dead Season 3 has officially ran better and no sound hiccups or anything. More, it's, 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 it's done better than any game. But that don't mean it's going to be perfect. Maybe they did update, update the engine. But I think they updated the engine. I just don't think they perfected it, obviously. Um, huh. I don't. I think they just need to use a different engine or like something. Like build their own? They are, uh, oh, yeah, they're using... Uh, I forgot. What's the name of it? It's not Unity? Unreal? It's, it's Unity. They're using Unity. Oh. I think. I assume. Or Unreal? No, not Unreal at all. <laughs> what is Unreal? <laughs> unreal would be like... Way more impressive, probably. Um, so anyway, what are your thoughts on this? Do you care oh, I that the game? Already made a bunch of thoughts. They have a bunch of money, and yeah, they should update the engine. If if like if they got all this, I mean, if if I was the, uh, I would make it if a I priority. Was the, if I was like the CEO of Telltale or, or whatever you call the manager, I feel like the the general consensus when you hear the name a Telltale game is to make fun of the engine. I see it all over the forums. I always see people like, tell them to fix their engine. And I'm like... I knew a million, more than a million people, I don't even know how to, but millions of people will probably play this game. 
Yeah, millions and if, of people. And if I knew that many people were going to play this game, I would want it to be flawless. Perfect. Yeah, so... Um, I always feel like all over the forums, uh, tell, tell, tell to fix their engine, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just thinking, if their engine would have never been bad, they wouldn't be known as the company that has the bad engine. They'd be known as Telltale Games Masters of Story and uh, Interactive Dramas. Oh, that's how I see them. Why do you keep yawning? How tired are you? <laughs> that's how I see them. I see them as the Masters of Stories. And Me too, but it's. I'm just saying, like, the general, like, a lot of the audience hates that the fact that the games don't run good. But they're getting it, I think. I think it's just very slow. Just like, wait. They'll be better when the sequels come. Okay, that leads to our next topic. We've had... A lot of Telltale games now that we love. Absolutely. That, that don't have season twos. Absolutely. Like The Walking Dead guy. The treatment. Absolutely. The Walking Dead treatment. So, Absolutely. Shut up. Now, if we could choose a sequel of any uh, Telltale game series, a whole season. Tales like, from the Borderlands. Jesus Christ, that actually scared me. <laughs> um, Tales from the Borderlands would be the best because it's hilarious. Old t- I don't know, but like. It's hilarious, but, like, <laughs> do we need more funny, or do we want more of, like, no, something... No, I want more Tales. Like, I, I was thinking... Game They're of... probably working on it all. I was thinking, like, another season of The Wolf Among Us, which is, like, insane that we never got, because it, it set up a sequel so long ago, the, the ending. <laughs> and, I mean, they can only really work on so much at once. I mean, all their... I don't know, and, and like, The Wolf Among Us isn't nearly, not even close as popular as... Like, all the other IP they have. Yeah. Game of Thrones, Walking Dead, Batman, Guardians of the Galaxy. I'd say Guardians is the least popular they've had in a while. It's still very popular, though. And, uh... I don't know. I just think... I was just gonna ask you... So <laughs> so you would choose Tales from the Borderlands? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Oh, yeah, because that's a great game. And <laughs> <laughs> Tales from the Borderlands, dude. Are you drunk? <laughs> no. Why do you seem drunk this episode? I don't know. Jeez, I gotta go restart the video because I know it stopped. How do you know? It's been long. Did it? Yeah. I have to throw something in there in the middle. Do you remember the intros to Tales from the Borderlands oh, with, yeah. with the music in They're there? They're so good. Yeah, I'm why? Did, have, did any other games do that? That style was great. No. What the heck? Like, that, they could have done style. that. They could have done that with more. That was good. Uh, they had openings of Tales. They're, like, amazing. They're, like, some of my Whoa! favorite. <laughs> I like that song. How's it go? Hank, do the tail. Yeah, I like that part. Oh, I can't believe you did it on video. Um, yeah, that was funny. If you that was the opener to season three of Tales of the Borderlands, so look it up. You mean you, episode three? Yeah. <laughs> I swear you're drunk. <laughs> Come look it up. That's a really good. What's in this? Is this what you're opener. drinking? Yeah, it's a really good opener. It's just water. I don't believe it though. Um, yeah. Now, final topic. This is, good. this is a short episode. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's it's about what I thought it was going to be. So, The Walking Dead Season 3 is happening. And... I don't know. It's I'm not going to spoil nothing. Okay, good. Because I'm not planning it yet. Only because... I really want to. I love... It's, one of my, it's my favorite. The Walking Dead's my I'm, favorite. I'm not playing it because I'm waiting to do episodes about it. And I want it to be fresh in my head. And in my notes. And in my heart. So, The Walking Dead... Let's say... Something well, okay. So the Walking Dead season three, something dramatic happens at the end. What do we? How long do you expect this series to go on? Because, like I said, so many other Telltale games haven't even gotten season twos. How long has the uh, TV show been going on? Like seven years. Even though people get tired of the same old thing, people dying, dying, dying. Yeah. But this is this is different. This is a game, and it's Telltale games. I wanted to go forever because these these characters mean a lot to me. Well, what characters? Like every season doesn't even have the same cast. Clementine. That's the one thing that ties everything together. Yeah, and she she means a lot to me. She's she she's the only one in all three, right? Yeah. 
Nice. I think. Yeah. Yeah, because everyone... It's weird, because in every episode... Uh, someone else is in all three, but barely. Every episode, you you create this group, like, and you, like, develop these feelings. You mean season? Like, every season, <laughs> you have a group and these feelings, and and they just die off, and you have a new group. Yeah, it sucks. It, you, like, have all these memories and, like, all these scary, scary moments, and, and then no everyone's gone. With. Yeah. So... They're only in your head and your brains and the chemical reactions in your brain. Okay, now. Now, Clementine is the only thing that ties every season together. So what happens if she's gone? Do they make a season four? Yeah, they can, they can still, like, do stuff in the same universe. Michonne. Michonne, yeah, that was a good... But that wasn't even barely... That wasn't even connected to any... They can make stuff in the same universe. I, I think they should, they should keep making stuff in the same universe. It's an interesting universe, good thing, and it creates good conversation for Brett. Okay, so what, so my question is, do you think they will? Yeah. Not if you want them to. I want them to, so yeah, I think they will. <laughs> That's not the question. <laughs> do you think they will, not do you want them to? No, it's got to end sometime. I think it's going to end, like... This might be it. Unless they have, like, a really good cliffhanger. Well, here's, here's, here's the thing. Is that what they call that, cliffhangers? Yeah. Here's the thing I noticed. They called The Walking Dead Season 3, not, not The Walking Dead Season 3, they call the, uh, the Walking Dead a new frontier. So that leads me to believe that there's going to be more. Huh. Just like The Walking Dead, uh, totally crazy, or something like that. Yeah. So, and that's weird because they call The Walking Dead Season 2 just The Walking Dead Season 2. They call The Walking Dead Season 3 The Walking Dead a new frontier. So I think they will keep going. <laughs> but I don't know how long they, they need to. We've played a lot of Telltale, well, The Walking I, Dead now. You know what? They don't... If- if Clementine's gone, they don't need to, because we got tons of other Telltales to enjoy. And Clementine's the only thing that ties everything together. She's if, if if she's gone, I'm gone. I'm not gone. I would play it immediately. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, I don't know. I don't think they need to make more. I just think I don't know. I don't even know what I think half the time. Mm-hmm. I really hope Clementine doesn't die. Actually, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, this has been the end of the walk. I mean, not the Walking Dead. This has been the end of Talking Telltale episode Episode eleven. Various topics two. Oh, I wanted to say the whole thing with you, but I didn't know what it was. Uh... Okay, (laughs) we will talk to you guys later. Why did you look at the camera like that at the very end? Because I want. All of those people that are watching. All seven. <laughs> <laughs> I want you all. Don't throw that at the camera. You know you've been fondling with that the whole time? <laughs> it's, my, it's one of my favorite games. This right here is one of my favorite games. This is one of my favorite games. Uh, I know people hate it. I know a lot of people like say bad things about it. But I think it's really good, and I don't care what other people think. Because, nah, I'd play it. Because <laughs> I'd play it. <laughs> oh my god.